Hello, hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with Google Cardboard. Now everyone that I've shown this headset to is like, what's Google Cardboard? I've never heard of it and what does it do? So hopefully we're going to try and answer some of those questions in this video. Cardboard was officially announced at Google I.O. 2014, so this year. And if you've ever heard of Oculus Rift VR, this is kind of Google's take on it, making it very cheap. So hopefully most people can use it and benefit from it but you will require the use of your smartphone as this acts as a display and as this is a new headset applications are very thin on the ground but the ones available certainly are wetting our appetites and giving us a sign of things to come so how do you get yours well google don't sell these but you can download their official instructions on how to build a google cardboard headset and i'll leave a link to that down in the description box below but if like me you're lazy and would prefer a kit that's already made up and it comes in kind of a flat pack format then you can buy those from third party sites like imcardboard.com and amazon in the states it's around 20 dollars here in the uk around 20 pounds and again i'll leave links to those down in the description box below once you've got your kit it's fairly straightforward to put together but i'll leave a link down in the description box below of another video just showing you how to assemble it it only takes a couple of minutes if that next on your smartphone head over to the play store and download the google cardboard application it's completely free doesn't cost you a single penny and once it's running place your handset within the headset and i line up the velcro pads now you'll notice the s5 just barely fits within this standard headset i have also tested it with the z2 and that does also fit as well but larger devices like the lg g3 or the Note 3 will need to have a larger headset and those are available from those same third party sites I mentioned earlier. So make sure you have the correct size when you're ordering. And you'll notice that the ends of this headset are also open so there is a small chance this handset could slide out and smash on the floor depending on how vigorously you move. So I would recommend you place your hands either side just to stop that from happening. And you'll also notice this rubber band here. Now some people saying this is to go around your head, but there's no way anyone's head is gonna fit through this small hole. So I think this has been used as friction just to stop the phone from moving around, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna place my hands at the sides. A couple of navigation tips for you now. If you want to go into an application or go into a menu, you can use a magnetic O-ring along the left-hand side as a selection or a click button. Simply pull it down, let it go, and it'll spring back up again. And that acts the equivalent of clicking something or entering or simply tapping the screen. And if you wanna go back a step, all you need to do is rotate the headset vertically and that will send you back a step depending on where you came from. At the moment, there's eight further applications in here ranging from tutorials on how to use cardboard, pretty much what we've already gone through, a tour guide, where in this example, we've been guided through a French building and the narrator tells us where to look to gain further information and we get some history behind what we're looking at here as well. However, none of these apps give you the ability to freely walk around the virtual reality environment. This is very much a path, a path that's already been set and you're simply there for the ride. Although you can change your orientation within that environment in any direction that you prefer so in the exhibit app where you're looking at artifacts you can completely look around them and one of my favorite applications google earth and youtube on google earth you can look around wherever you want although as i say you can't freely walk around looking up to space takes you up and then you can change which direction you want to go in next looks absolutely beautiful and youtube it's like you're in a sphere where you have lots and lots of tv screens and a cinema screen being center stage playing whatever you select so looking around selecting a different video by pressing the o-ring down and then it changes the main one and you can pause and play a video by again pressing that o-ring down and you've also got a voice control. So if you wanna pick a different video, simply look down and say the name of the video or what you're looking for and it will play center stage. And all the other videos around you within that sphere will also change according to the results that it finds. Similar to this is Photosphere where it allows you to select your own photospheres taken with your camera, plonks it in the center and you've guessed it allows you to look wherever you want. And the final application here is Street View, and it's very cool. And remember, as I said, this is very much a ride, so you cannot go wherever you want, although you can look in any direction, pausing the ride with pressing the O-ring down. It's very detailed, and as you can see, 
faces are blurred out and even the reflections of the Google car can be seen on the side of this bus. After using it for a while I didn't get any headaches although I did kind of get a little bit dizzy once I stopped using it so I had to give myself a couple of seconds to kind of recalibrate myself and the surroundings around me. Out of cardboard and as you've already seen there's two displays a split screen one for each eye so when you're using the headset you merge the two displays together so it's seamless. There you have it guys that's been a look at Google Cardboard. As ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw and if you found it informative then please do give us a like and if you haven't yet done so hit subscribe it's just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time